Hello, friends, and welcome back to Stories About Entitled People. It's always nice when a rude customer gets what he deserves, especially if he crosses the line several times behaving inadequately. Well, our OP was ready for such a crazy customer, too. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new here, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video every single day. Here we go. ED makes impossible request and gets banned from the store. I used to work at the Big Orange Hardware store as a loader way back in 2009. As this story occurred 11 years ago, some details are a bit blurry. I apologize in advance for this. Now for the story. An entitled dad came by to order 20 bales of pine straw. He had his kid with him who didn't interact with us, so he won't have dialogue in this story. ED only had a tiny compact car, and there was only enough room inside for five bales max before it became unsafe to drive, and maybe enough room for 10 if safety for his kid wasn't his concern. Here's what transpired. Me is me, ED is entitled dad, TL is team leader, M is manager. Me, your car's too small for these. ED, no it's not, you can fit them in there. Me, can we tie some to your roof? ED, no, fit them all in the trunk in my back seat and don't get any loose straw in my car. Me, it's impossible to fit though. Even if I played Tetris with them, I could probably only get eight max, but you wouldn't even be able to see through your rear view. ED, it's your job to figure it out. Me, I hope you don't mind me asking, but do you live far from here? ED, I'm about five minutes away. Me, okay, good. Would you be interested in renting one of our trucks to help in transporting these bales? They don't cost much, and since you're so close by, it should be quite cheap. ED. No, I don't want to pay any more than I already have. Me. Are you sure you can't let us tie some bales to your roof? ED. No, I don't want them falling off. Me. All right, I'll see what I can do. I contact our TL over the radio and tell her the situation and ask her to come out to the loading area. TL. Sir, there's no way they can fit all 20 bales in your trunk and back seat. Are you sure you don't want some tied to your roof? ED. Well, I don't want them falling off, and I don't want the twine too tight to weaken the bales. TL. Would you be interested in one of our trucks? That'll make it easier, or you can come back with a van or truck of your own. ED. I want them in my car. TL. They won't all fit then. If you want to use your car, my loaders can fit whatever they can and you can come back to get the rest. You can make as many trips as you want. ED. I guess that'll be okay. TL. Okay, great. Looks at me and my loading partner. Fit whatever you can and this gentleman will come back to get the rest. Me. All right, we'll do that. TL walks back into the store. Me and my loading partner grab some plastic sheets to lay down in his trunk, back seat, and floorboards. ED. Wait a minute, what the hell is that you're putting in my car? Me. Plastic sheets to keep loose straw from getting in your car. ED. You can't do that. I don't want your trash in there. Me. Sir, you said you didn't want loose straw and this will prevent that. ED. Can you get your supervisor again or something? I don't want your trash. Me. Sir, all she's going to do is reiterate what I just said. If you don't want loose straw in your car, then I really suggest taking this plastic. ED. Call that lady on your radio again. Get her out here. Me. All right. He calls for TL again and requests her to come back to the loading area. TL. Sir, you said you don't want loose pine straw in your car, yes? ED. That's right. And I don't understand why that means I have to take your trash with me. TL. Sir, that's not trash. It's sheets of plastic that we have for the sole purpose of preventing spills in customers' vehicles. My loaders are only taking precautions so they can fulfill your request. ED. First you morons can't fit all my items in my car, and now you want me to take your trash with me? TL. Sir, as I've just said, that's not trash, and it's impossible to fit 20 bales in your car, and that's why we agreed you could take them in multiple trips. Please don't yell at me because I'm just trying to help you. ED. Do you have a supervisor or someone else I can talk to? Because all of you are being useless. TL. I can call the store manager for you if you'd like. ED. 
Yes, I'd like to speak to your manager and have you and, points at me and my loading partner, your two moron workers fired for not being able to fulfill a simple request. TL calls the manager and asks him to come to the loading area. Manager, what's going on here? Sir, why are you yelling? ED explains the situation to manager. M. Sir, if you don't want loose pine straw in your vehicle, then I definitely suggest you take the plastic. ED. I don't want your effing trash. M. Sir, can you follow me? ED. Finally, someone's doing their job and helping me. M leads ED to the customer service desk and makes the clerk refund ED's order. M. Now you need to leave my store. ED. What do you mean? You weren't giving me those bales for free? M. You were abusing my employees and used profanity at me. You will leave and you are banned from my store. Get out before I call the police. ED gets in his car and peels out of the parking lot. Should have told him, sir, we can fit most bales in your car, but we'd have to tie your kid to the roof just to see his reaction. And our next story. Lady asks delivery driver to do household chores. I work at a pizza place, and one night a couple weeks ago, we had a crazy long situation happen. Order comes through, and we get it made and sent out with the driver for delivery. Just after the driver leaves, the lady calls and said she hadn't meant to order the food and canceled the order. Well, my place of work is a little too nice, and we were just going to give her the food so it wasn't wasted. Problem number one, the driver can't find her location. He calls and calls and she never answers her phone, so he comes back to the store and we wait a little bit before the food gets thrown out. Problem number two, this lady calls back an hour later and says she just saw the driver called and was wondering if he was still out looking for her address. Of course he wasn't, but still. Well, due to my company's policy and we promised her the food, I have to have it remade and sent back out to her. Since we had issues finding her, I asked for her address again. After she tells it to me, I look her up in the system. Two completely different addresses. I ask which one is correct. She says, oh, I don't know. Let me grab a piece of mail. Confirms the one she gave me is correct. As I'm wrapping it all up, which this had been a five minute call at least as I was constantly restating things, she asks for a drink and then asks if she can write a check for the driver's tip. And I said, you can, but if you want to get a drink, then you'll have to add the tip to the card. She replies back with, I don't have any money, though. Stunned silence for a few seconds, and then she says she'll find something. With a new headache, I hang up the phone and set the people on the line to making the order. Problem number three. Here's the last bit of what happened, and it's potentially the craziest. So the driver finally gets out there, gives her her food, she then claims if she can mail in a tip to the store for him. Guess she doesn't have checks or changed her mind on that. But then, before he can leave, she starts asking him to do house chores for her, saying she'd had surgery recently and could really use the help. He just says he has to get back to work and books it out of there. As far as I know, she hasn't called in since. Damn, free food and a clean house? <laughs> That's one for the record books. Plus no tip. Nope, nope, and nope. Some people are just unreal sometimes. And our last story. Entitled neighbor wants her kids in my garden. I, 29-year-old female, don't have any kids, but have my younger sister, 16, living with me for around 10 years. And we have a trampoline still in our back garden from when she was younger. Neighbor to the left of me has four kids and moved in a year ago. Two weeks ago, Glasgow started getting really good weather, so the kids had been out playing constantly. Not an issue. They asked if I could let the kids use the trampoline one day, so I was like, sure, but only for a bit, because I have friends coming over for some drinks. 7 p.m. comes, I asked them to go home, because my five friends have shown up and we're going to be drinking. Cue the crying. They leave the garden upset, but hey, that's not my issue. They've been on it for three hours at this point. Their mom pops her head out over her bedroom window and asks if they can stay in the garden longer. Um, no, I'm not your babysitter. She's annoyed but drops it. Last week, I come home from shopping and to my surprise find all four of the kids in the garden plus their younger cousin. Ask them to leave, tell them they can't just come into my garden without me there, and they didn't even ask. They refuse to leave, 
so I shout up at their mom and tell her to get them out of the garden. She says, let them play for a bit. You don't even use it. Okay, but still, not your garden. Eventually, we get into an argument and they leave. She's pissed off and shouting, saying I'm being a Karen and I should let them in. I tell her not to ask again because the answer will be no. This happened again the day after. All four kids, plus their cousin, waiting till I move the car from the drive and heading straight into the garden. So I wake up this morning. I've since put a lock on the trampoline, just a small one on the mesh safety enclosure to stop them opening it up because I'm petty AF. Plus, it's Saturday. I'm not working today, my day off, and I want a long lie. But no, neighbor decides that at 9 a.m. this morning, her kids are going to be fired straight out of that house with breakfast bars and a bottle of water. And they head straight into the garden. So I can hear them from my window. I look out and tell them to leave. By the time I get downstairs, mom has descended from her house and is trying to climb the fence between our gardens, shouting about how I used to let them use it, and she's going to call the police for hitting her kids. Um, great, you do that. I'll be sure to show them the ring camera footage, which coincidentally also has footage of your husband picking the lock open so your brats can use the trampoline. So long story short, Entitled Mother sends her kids into my garden repeatedly even after being told not to. Calls police on me for harassment and hitting her kids and ends up getting her own husband arrested for theft and housebreaking and criminal damage. Suck it, B. Edit. Decided that it's not worth the hassle. Ten minutes ago, 9.50 p.m. here in the UK, I took a knife and slashed the part you jump on. Brother's coming on Tuesday to help me dismantle it, and we'll take it to the local recycle center. I don't understand the reasoning behind, how dare you not let my children come over unsupervised to try and injure themselves on your property? How is this thinking so prevalent? Hey guys, thank you all for watching the video, I'll see you in the next one.